can never just be normal. It can never just be normal. Now we have a real fucking problem. Leonard Fournette is out indefinitely with that hamstring injury. There was like, oh, if they, in the beginning, was like, oh, it just tightened up on him. He can't accelerate right. Like, just give it another week. It's not that serious. And now this motherfucker's out indefinitely. I don't even know what to say about this, man. Fournette had that great rookie year, and now the thing that the one knock on him is starting to come back to bite us in the ass, and that he's had injury issues. And we don't have a good replacement for him. TJ Yeldon is a good third down back and good out of the backfield, but the entire four years he's been in the league, he's rushed for 100 yards once. And it was last year against the sorry-ass Colts. So, you can't count on that. We need, like... Now, I'm not saying give up on Leonard Fournette. Because trust me, I love Leonard Fournette. I love Leonard Fournette. So, I'm not saying give up on him. Because that would just be stupid after a year just because of injuries. Remember... There was a time when the greatest running, when once upon a time the greatest running back we've ever had in our history, Fred Taylor, had some injury issues. So, I'm not saying give up on him, but we need somebody to come in and um, and spell him at least for, till he's healthy, till he's right. So, here's my suggestion. Well, here's, I have a couple suggestions. I knew this one probably isn't going to happen, but we probably should think about it. There's a great running back in Pittsburgh by the name of Le'Veon Bell who's riding fucking jet skis and shit. The Steelers are asking for a second round pick and a good player for him. Give them Fjeldon, give them Fowler, give them a second, yeah, give them Dante Fowler, give them TJ Yeldon. Give them a second round pick to get him. And people are like, oh, well, he may not be committed. Man, fuck that. If we re- if we get Le'Veon Bell and him and Fournette, and Fournette gets healthy by the end of the year, who's going to be able to stop that running attack? And let's say worst case scenario, we don't have the money to re-sign Bell or, you know, he just doesn't want to re-sign here. Worst case scenario, if they, if we end up getting a Super Bowl out of this, yeah, we lose Bell. Yeah, we lost two guys who we're not going to re-sign anyway. At the end of the day, all we really going to lose is a second-round pick. And I'm sorry to me to get a championship. That's worth it. So, make that happen. But, you know, I know how unlikely that is because, you know, I just know it is. But we need to do something. We cannot use T.J. Yeldon game in and game out. That shit ain't going to work. And Blake Bortles, like, is a good quarterback right now. Statistically, the best quarterback in the AFC South. But he's been, he's been inconsistent. You're not going to get games like the Patriots in last week all the time from him. Like, we really need a game from him like that in Kansas City. Because he's going to have to. But you can't count on that. Game in and game out from him. So, the Jet. So here's another one. The Jets were interested in Dante Fowler. Maybe we can. Maybe we can get um, either Bilal Powell or Isaiah well, or Isaiah Crowell from the Jets, along with maybe another draft pick for him. To get one of them over here because they're solid running backs. Or the Browns. They're starting to really, like, Nick Chubb's really starting to come on for them. Maybe make a play for Isaiah Crowell. The Vikings love, Devo- love um, what the fuck's his name? Dalvin Cook. Go get, Lat- maybe get Latavius Murray. There's options out there. What the fuck is going on here? But anyway, yeah, there's options out there. We can't just sit back and do nothing, because, like, this year and next year are 
the only two years left until we really have to start worrying about paying motherfuckers. So, I don't care. So, like, there's options out there. My point is, if if Leonard Fournette is missing misses any considerable amount of time, which it looks like it's going to be at least a couple weeks, we need to do something. We cannot sit back and just do nothing. We have to do something. We have to get another running back. Anyway, that's all I got, man. Just hopefully these motherfuckers do something.